everybody, welcome to the Superbook Show. Quick question. Do you think that what you watch can change you? Nah. I watch crazy kangaroos from outer space, and I haven't turned into a kangaroo yet. But you did start jumping around more, right? Okay, so I jumped once or twice just to see if I could do it. It was exhausting. <laughs> What's your point? My point is, I think we become more like what we watch. Hey, so is that why your birthday party was at the trampoline park? Uh, so what were you saying and, about and all this they, stuff? They did play hip hop, right? Okay, 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 you got me. But there are plenty of things that I've seen that I've never tried. I'm not saying that you'll try everything you see, but I definitely do think that you become more like what you watch. Wait, I know that look in your eye. You're gonna tell me a Bible story. See, you even learned that from watching me. Okay. And yes, I am. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Remember Jacob? From the Superbook episode, Jacob and Esau? I sure do. He's the guy that traded the bowl of soup for his brother's birthright. Yeah, that's right. And he worked seven years for his uncle Laban so he could marry his daughter. Ugh, I know weddings are expensive, but that's ridiculous. After he worked all that time, he left his family and went out on his own. You know, I'm feeling Jacob. I mean, when I do the dishes, I want to go out on my own. When I have my own house, I will not own dishes. Only paper plates. Sure you will. So, because of that, Jacob asked Laban to give him the sheep with the spots and blemishes as his payment. Oh, so instead of a pay raise, he asked his uncle for a pay raise. Get it? <laughs> Get it? It's a pay raise, yeah, not well, a pay actually, raise. Yeah, well, actually, it was it was the opposite. The sheep with spots and blemishes are not as valuable with the sheep's without them. What? So my joke doesn't work? Listen to me carefully. Your joke never worked. <sighs> Harsh. Anyhow, Jacob took different types of branches and he peeled off the strips of bark and it made it look like those branches had spots. He then placed the branches in the animals' watering troughs and the animals had to look at them a lot. This story is a little weird. Where is it going? All the animals that saw the branches had babies. And do you know what happened to them? I can honestly say I have no idea. Their babies had spots. Oh, for real? Well, I could ace the science fair if I did this with my kitty cats. Whoa, whoa, pump your brakes. It did happen, but it was definitely a miracle. Do not try this at home. <laughs> Okay, fair enough, but what does sheep have to do with me? Several times, the Bible refers to us as sheep. And Jesus even refers to himself as the Good Shepherd. Okay, I'm seeing the connection. Are you ready for more? Yes. Okay, well, the more we look at God, the more we become like him. That's some deep stuff. And the Bible says, the more we look at the glory of God, the more we are transformed into the image that we see. So to be like Jesus, I need to see him more than I see... Oh, wait. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm deleting Crazy Kangaroo out of my video queue. <laughs> You're hilarious, Caitlin. But on a serious note, before you decide to watch something, make sure it's something good for you to watch. No, 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 don't start playing, no. Don't, no, don't start, don't start hopping. No, I don't want to hop no more. His word is forever alive. From now on, every time I go into the zoo, I'm going to skip over the kangaroo exhibit. But you make sure you don't skip over liking and subscribing. You can find us on Facebook and at superbook.cbn.com for some more things that we think are good for you to see. And we want to see you good people next time. Yes. Bye! Sheets, man. Oh, wait. Were we both supposed to say that? <laughs> That's good. That's good. Let's just leave it at that. We're just going to go whoosh. Oh, shit. <laughs>